Now we know that all that really counts or when we're making pictures is the lens. Glass, glass, glass. Bodies can be replaced, bodies can be upgraded, but the glass, that is timeless. That's why you find that when you look at high-end cameras, glass, the lenses often cost double the price, triple the price of the body itself. Manufacturers will upgrade bodies as their R&D improves, but the glass, timeless. Some of that older Carl Zeiss lens, Voigtlander and Leica, they just last. This video gets you a Leica lens for no money. Don't spend money on those high-end cameras until you've tried the glass and see if you like it. Now, Panasonic partnered with Leica, if you didn't know. I love a bridge camera. This particular bridge camera, we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna go on a photo walk because I'm hungry. I need to get me some food. I'm gonna take some Leica glass, make some pictures, eat some bacon, and we'll go from there. Let's go. Now we know I don't love vlogging, but here we go, let's go vlog. We're outside, it's a beautiful day. First test, bulb test, let's go. I don't even have to look through the viewfinder. I can just look at my screen. Second test, plant test. Now this FC28 has an electronic viewfinder or a view screen at the back, which is super handy. I'm not a huge fan of electronic viewfinders. I like to see live, I like a prism. My old DSLRs and SLRs make me happy. But this particular camera, oh my God, it feels great in the hand. And I just love the fact that I'm walking down the street with some Leica glass. Yeah, it's not expensive. I mean, this camera I got in a thrift store, everyone says that, but I did, uh, with a battery and a case, etc. for, I believe it was about 15 bucks. So it's just nice to have around. Pretty much hate the fact that it's silver, but that's of the time. It was fashionable, so they went with it. It's like a gun metal gray, in fact. So we have 10 megapixels, so I'm excited to see how the actual images turn out. I've got a biker coming past, let's get an image. Not bad speed when you, uh, when you push the shutter, it kind of takes that picture instantly. I know that sounds crazy, but some of these older digicams, some of these older bridge cameras are a little bit slower. Let's test the zoom here. So certainly when we're walking and testing, I'm just trying to find things that are interesting. I'm trying to get a good test of this lens. Now, as much color as possible, I go for. And we'll have a look, see how Lightroom manages with those, uh, with those images. Ah, this is a cool car. This is an old school Volkswagen Golf. I always like the OG golfs. I think you call them rabbits in America, but in Europe they're called golfs. So I'm gonna head up, get some breakfast, and do a little bit more research about this camera. But at the end of the day, when I thrift shop, if I find a camera that's you know less than 30 bucks in the case, looks relatively new, battery, SIM card, etc., I'll get it. Listen, if you find a Digicam in the thrift store and it has a SIM card and it's less than 30 bucks, you know, get it. Here we go, I'm gonna complete this walk, get some breakfast. I'll see you back at the studio. The FZ28 then, the Panasonic Lumix FZ28. It has a awesome optical zoom. 2.7 fixed screen, it's a Leica lens and this is the Lumix brand zoom here and these mode buttons are awesome aperture priority program shutter priority and then all of the other features this is the on off switch there and we can zoom in and out this is a super zoom camera so no need to change that lens 
internal pop-up flash for those awesome vibes. I love this LCD screen on the back and a super tactile menu. Love the fact that we can play back. Also has a HD 30 frames a second video recording and it takes SD cards. Castar then. Thank you for the battery, Castar. That's the one we need. That is awesome. $15 for the battery and the charger, you guys. All in all, super tactile, super good feeling. 30 bucks from a Goodwill store. Would I buy it in 2003? Absolutely yes. Now let's have a look at some of that video that I suggested it records and go from there. But yeah, this camera is great. Buy it.